Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we've got yet another installment of connecting with your inner feminine, yes? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. These readings are available for personal readings. However, I have not, I still have not updated my system with, or my, the info with this reading specifically. But if it intrigues you, if you would like a look into what's going on or how to help connect with or communicate with your own inner feminine energies, or even your own inner masculine energies those are available for personal reasons so please don't hesitate to email me yes okay so just keep in mind guys that this is a look at our where the intention here excuse me the intention with this reading is to look at what's going on with your inner feminine energies everybody has inner feminine and inner masculine energies okay um, regardless of your gender another thing to keep in mind is we are not speaking to gender here okay this is all energetically based this is not this is this is uh non gender associated energies or 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 readings information okay so keep that in mind so i'm going to be in ref in speaking to the feminine energy and this goes for the masculine reading as well but specifically here it's in speaking for the feminine or speaking to the pe feminine energies i am going to be using the pronouns of her right just to make things easier to understand consciously this does not again this has nothing to do with gender this is all about the energy okay so keep keeping that in mind we're going to move forward here i have four different tarot decks i'm going to be looking into four separate four different inner, uh, energies associated with your inner feminine and then we're going to get some oracle guidance from the love your inner goddess deck yeah guys excellent let's just get straight to this hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for the Feminine Collective. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energies of our inner feminine, how we can integrate with her on a fuller level, on a better level, and how we can better connect with our inner feminine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so let's get started here. I'm starting with the Book of Shadows Tarot. This is a two-part deck, as above, so below. I'm using the so below deck because this is more closely uh, related to the traditional tarot. The first thing I wanna look at is the current energetic standing of your inner feminine energies. I'm giving this five shuffles, so that's one. Well, what is your, what are the current energies of your inner feminine that's two where is your inner feminine currently standing three four and last shuffle five all right here we go kids so what are the current energetic state of your inner feminine Current energetic state of your inner feminine. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Okay. Overall energy, we do. Wow. All right. We do have the emperor. Now, it seems. The emperor represents masculine energy, okay? The emperor would be the representation of the divine masculine, whereas the, the empress would be the uh, indication or the, 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 uh, the divine feminine, okay? Um, but it, it seems that from the feminine point of view, your inner feminine is very much in an energy of taking control of her, his or her own life. We're just gonna say her own life because we're talking to the feminine, but about the feminine, but we're not speaking to gender. Very much in control of life, circumstances, direction. Okay, we have the page of wands, we have the four of swords. Oh shoot, there is the empress. 
Oh my goodness. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Two of Swords. The Four of Swords and the Two of Swords and the Page of Wands actually are going to go together here. Wow. So right off the bat, we have a balance between the masculine and feminine here. However, okay, um, this it, it, it's, it's still, I'm not, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble putting this into words, but uh, because I'm not really feeling like the masculine is showing up in her energy right now for where the feminine is standing. I feel like the feminine has a really good grasp on what she can do to take her power back and to be in control of her own circumstances. This does not mean that she's trying to control other people or the circumstances outside of her or something like that. She's, she's staying in control of what she knows she has control over. And from this empress energy or this feminine's point of view, she's working on mastering herself, mastering her surroundings, mastering her art, um, her craft. Now, she's also in an energy of relaxing. Four of Swords, Two of Swords, Knave, knave or Page of Wands. In my opinion, as a reader, the Knave or the Page of Wands is a minor arcana version of the Hermit, all right? But this is not so deep. This is not such a deep situation as she's going through some real soul searching or whatnot. It really does feel like that actually has been done already and it's so crazy because i just did a personal reading for someone in which we were we were talking about this um this is not a deep hermit moment all of that real deep hermit stuff at least at this point in the cycle or in the game has been done already and so now it's time to allow all of these deep soul searching and understanding of oneself and 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 ident re-identifying oneself on a spiritual energetic level that's now time for that to come forward in the physical so that's where we would have the page of wands now here's the thing it's not quite time to take action yet four of swords Two of Swords, okay? The Four of Swords, and it's very, it's perfect that it's depicted this way. Because right now, the feminine is in an energy of relaxing, playing, having a good time, focusing on self-care, focusing on um, self-awareness also, but just being in a meditative state and just being in a state of allowing, okay? And a state of receptivity. Receptivity, that is exactly what the feminine represents. Anyway, receptive, whereas the... Um, the, the emperor or the masculine is the doer, is the go-getter, okay? This feels like a very good energy to, to, to be in. I've, and I really want to say that I really feel like the feminine energies right now are very much in a playful mood. Now, that doesn't mean that they want to play with others. So if you're watching this in terms of, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with your counterpart, if you are dealing with a counterpart situation, so if you're watching this as a cross watcher in terms to get energy or uh, information, energetic information as to where your external counterpart is at the moment, just because she's feeling playful doesn't mean she necessarily wants to play with you. And that, <laughs> and I'm not, and I, and that does, and that spirit's not saying that, or that's not a message that's coming through to make you feel bad or to make you feel inadequate. It's just like, she's very much, she's very much in an energy of wanting to just play with herself right now. And I guess you could take that in a, in a, in a, <laughs> oh my God. The dirty minds that we have in this collective. Woo! <laughs> and again, guys, that's not a bad thing. But she just, she wants to be with herself right now. She's, it, I really feel like the feminine is, is in an energy of cultivating a relationship with her own self. Regardless of the external factors, okay? I, and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of a struggle here because I kind of feel like some of you are thinking this is a bad energy. It's not a bad energy. And I find myself really pushing myself to try and figure out how to better explain this, how this is a good energy or better convey this to you guys. But I, that's, really, that's really all that I'm getting here. This is not bad at all. Okay. And the emperor energy that or the action, the control that the, the, the uh, maybe even leadership role that the feminine is really take, taking right now is tempered by her own feminine essence. 
So it's like, it's all, this, this kind of feels weird and convoluted, but the message here is kind of feels like it's almost as if she's taking, she's taking control. She's she's acting as if an emperor would or a masculine energy would or someone who was very much in control would, but it's tempered by her own feminine nature. And that's, <laughs> that's really beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. The feminine is very much in a mindset or an energetic space of doing for herself. And this is not coming from a place of, you know, twisted femininity in which we, there's this whole dynamic of, oh, well, I, anything you can do, I can do better, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. This is literally just being the master of your own energetic space of saying, okay, this is what I want. I have every right and ability to create exactly what it is what I want, so I'm going to do that. That's purely all that it is. This is a beautiful energy to be in, to be quite honest. Okay, so with all of that said, now let's look into what your inner feminine is currently challenged by. We give this five shuffles here, and this is the wild unknown tarot. What is your inner feminine currently challenged by? Number two, what is the challenge that your inner feminine is facing at this moment in time? Or for this moment of the, the moment of this reading? This is number four. What is your current challenge your inner feminine is facing? Last shuffle, number five. All right, here we go, kids. Let's see. What is your inner feminine currently facing or challenged by? Seven of wands, seven of swords, ace of wands. Overall energy of the Ten of Cups. Woo! Okay, this is a good thing, though. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So what I'm picking up on here is your inner feminine has... Definitely has an is is inspired to move in a new direction. Okay, the feminine is very much inspired to move in a new direction. Has this this drive. Okay, definitely has this drive, and that's also indicative here of the Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Wands, also with the Emperor and the Empress energy. But currently, in a Energetically speaking, your inner feminine right now, we're going back to this, to what the current energetic, energetic state that your inner feminine is in. She is working on perfecting her art. She's probably putting some pieces together. She's, she's, she's formulating her plan. She's getting the things that she needs. She's, she's, she's honing her craft. She's, she's doing the hard work that she needs to do in order to move in the direction that she's inspired to move in here. So here with the Ace of Wands in the energy of that is currently challenging her, this is the drive. This is the inspiration to move in a new direction, right? But then she has the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So what's really challenging your inner feminine right now is not letting anybody know what's going on. Doing things incognito not really allowing anyone to see what she's experiencing or what she's planning or what she's doing. These are, this, is, this is a healthy boundary type of energy. And the only reason this feels challenging is because the feminine here, she's really excited. I mean, Ace of Wands, this is like, she has the, in, the inspiration to move in a direction that's going to lead her. She's being inspired to move towards her Ten of Cups. But the real challenge right now for the feminine is to be quiet about it. Because, and it, because it's so exciting and it, it's so challenging to not want, to, 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 to not give in to wanting to express her excitement, wanting to tell people about what's going on, wanting to share what she's working on, share, but, but the wisest thing for the feminine right now is to not talk about it. 
period. And specifically what I'm getting, because these are, this is two sevens right here, all right? So this is double seven, this is double luck, yes? But your luck is going to come in, what, I, what I'm really feeling here, feminine, is <clears throat> this, you're in a gestational period right now, okay? So you need, <clears throat> you need to keep this, see, it's even hard for me to even say this right now. I don't even wanna be talking about this right now for you because then it's, never mind. I'm not gonna say that, but the more you keep this under wraps, the more you keep this to yourself, the less outside influence can get in and mix up the energies for you. You don't want to give you don't want too much outside influence. You may not even want outside influence at all. Take that with a grain of salt. There may be some individuals that you will actually have to communicate with just to help you flesh things out, just to help you understand certain things, whatnot, whatever. But the whole the whole thing of like shouting out to the world what your plans are, not the best idea right now because you're in this gestational period and you need to allow the energies your own energies that you have been cultivating that have even gotten you to this point to nurture whatever is being, whatever is gestating right now, okay? Oh, going back to your current energy though, feminine, that's exactly what the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles is talking about, the gestational period, because the Empress does represent birth. Maybe you could be, you could be pregnant. Physically, if you're a woman, obviously a man's not going to get pregnant, <laughs> but you could be pregnant as a woman physically, like you could physically be with child, but this is more energetic. This is more of the new reality that you're birthing for yourself and you're doing the work to bring this to fruition here. But the challenge for you, even though you're very excited and very inspired, the challenge here is to keep it under wraps. Keep it to yourself, at least right now, for this gestational period. And yes, that is a challenge. I get it. I get it. I feel it myself. Okay? I get it. But you got to keep this under wraps for your own sake. For your own safety. I mean, not that you're really in danger, but the child could be in danger. Your manifestation could be in danger. You don't want other people putting their injecting their energy into it because it can screw things up. Other people's doubts, other people's opinions, other people's suggestions even can get in there and start mucking things up and can turn things into something that you never really wanted it to be to begin with. The best thing for you to do right now is to keep your own source of energy flowing into this and not really allowing too many others to get their hands into it, okay? And, I, and, 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 and for those of you that are on the outside looking in, you know, that could be considered these other energies that we don't necessarily want infiltrating the system. It's not that your energies are bad. It's not that your advice could be bad or that you couldn't potentially have something that could be of help, of use to the situation. But right now is not the time. You've got to allow this person to do their own thing right now. You have got to allow, the, fem the feminine needs to be allowed to work her own magic right now for her own gestation, for her own manifestation, okay? But ultimately, this is a very good thing. And I do feel a lot of excitement for you, feminine, for the feminine, on behalf of the feminine here. But this is why, in her current energetic state, this is why the feminine has this emperor energy, this protective masculine energy about her right now because of this gestational period. You could even see the, na the, the knave or the page of wands as a child. Because the page of wands is also representative of a new creative direction. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, next thing that I wanna look at here is what does your inner feminine want you to know? What does your inner feminine want to say right now? Five shuffles here, and this is the golden universal tarot. What does your inner feminine want you to know? Two, three, 
What does your inner feminine want you to know? Four. And five. What does your inner feminine want you to know? Here we go. So what do you have to say, inner feminine? What do you want? What do you want to say right now? Nine of Wands. Ooh, 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 the hermit. Okay. Nine of Wands. Simple message. Five of Wands is at the root of the as at, at this overall energy at the root of the situation. Okay. Um, it's funny because the hermit wanted, it kind of wanted to come out and then I took it and it makes sense. It makes absolute sense as to what this is saying here because really the, really the only message that the feminine wants to say right now is just keep going. Perseverance is key. And the, the, the one thing your inner feminine wants, you to, wants to remind you of right now is the fact that of how far you have come. I'm hearing over the last decade now that could just be collectively speaking, a lot of the change that's happened over the last decade, but that could also be for you personally. Maybe you've been on this journey for about 10 years now of, of awakening and you've finally gotten to this place where you can actually really honor what it is is more authentic to you instead of giving into some sort of conformity. Um, and yes, with the five of wands here, there is a difference of opinion, there is, inner conflict, there might be a bit of chaos. I do feel like what the Five of Wands is speaking to here is a, a little bit of an ego flare or an ego battle um, within yourself, whereas your ego is saying one thing, but your inner light, your inner, your, your inner knowing, your, the, your inner being is saying another. Um, and in terms of that, you've been following your inner being for all of this time, okay? Don't forget, number one, everything that you've been through up until this point. But number two, what you learned. Your ego is still trying to, to trying to like, it's a protective thing too, yes. Um, but it's still trying to like take over the ship again in some cases. For others of you, this is external, this five of wands energy. And, uh, it's external in the, in the form of societal pressure, societal norms, doing things the way, doing walking the beaten path versus walking the unbeaten path. And, it, and, and we have come too far, we've been through too much already to step back onto that beaten path again, okay? And I wanna point this out to you. In your current surrounding energies for the feminine here, you have the page of wands. And I was saying to you, the page of wands, in my opinion, as a reader, is a minor arcana version of the hermit. And what we were talking about there was, energetically speaking, you have done the work. You have done the work to now allow some of this to actually start trickling into your physical reality. So what your inner feminine is saying to you here is, don't forget the work that you've done. Keep going. Don't stop now. And it's not, and it's interesting because it's not that, maybe this is just a reminder because I'm looking back at the energy now and it doesn't really seem like there is too much in the, in the feminine right now that would, that would indicate that she's at risk of falling off her path. However, coming out or, 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 or stepping off of her path. However, coming from the challenge, which is not allowing someone to circumvent your, your manifestations or to get their energies in there, it makes perfect sense now that she's reminding us, do not allow anyone to push you off or push you out of the knowledge of your own self that you have been able to cultivate, okay? Remember, and this has been a consistent message as throughout these readings that I've been doing for the masculine and the feminine lately, but the feminine stands for authenticity point blank period and nothing less than that and that is what she helps us to cultivate the strength and the wherewithal to follow our own hearts to to, to walk the unbeaten path yes to walk off to, to, to remove ourselves from the beaten path yes 
and it really seems like you've come to a point where your true authenticity can really start to shine through. Don't give up now. Okay? So now, last thing I want to look at in the Tarot before we move to our Oracle Guidance is what action steps can we take to further connect with our inner feminine? And for that, I'm going to be using the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. It's five shuffles here, so that was one. What action steps can we take to further connect with our inner feminine energies? That's two. Three. Four. And five. What action steps can we take to further connect with our inner feminine energies. Let's see here. What action steps can we take to further connect with our inner feminine? Ooh, justice. Three of Cups. You know, the message that I'm getting with this, justice in the Three of Cups is allowing justice to be served. Now this could, um, oh shoot. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. I was gonna shuffle again, but then I decided to look underneath the deck and we do have the Eight of Cups. Listen here, you guys. The feminine is stating right now that what you can, the action steps that you can do, that you can take to further connect with her, with further connect with your inner feminine, is walking away from social structures that no longer serve you. You have the Three of Cups, and in this deck, it's depicted as a bunch of masks with three cups. And the Three of Cups has, uh, does talk about social environments, friends, um, social gatherings, uh, parties, uh, party lifestyle, whatnot, whatever, that kind of thing. And what the feminine is saying here between the eight of cups with the eight of cups being the overall energy of this message with the three of cups and the and justice being a the 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 the, the, the um meat and potatoes of the message you can say action steps that you can take to further connect with your inner feminine is walking away from things that are not authentic and do not serve your highest good and do not serve your authenticity Period. What did I just say, guys? The feminine stands for authenticity, 100% authenticity, and nothing less than that. So the more that you're playing this game, the more that you're participating in this masquerade, the longer you are prolonging this connection with your inner feminine energies. Period. Whoa. Whoa! And looky here, y'all. I guess you can consider this a little bit of a warning, a little bit. Maybe you can. Maybe instead of calling this as a, a warning, this is like a uh, showing you. You know. Okay. Well, no. Yeah, it is kind of a warning here. But the feminine is just dating something. Okay. She's working on something. She's creating something new here, and she's. I mean, she's balancing between the masculine and feminine pr principles of, for, in doing this. And so it really feels like she's doing this for herself. And I'm kind of feeling like here with this last message of needing to walk away from social structures that no longer serve you or walking away from situations that are inauthentic to you in which you're just wearing a mask just to fit in. If you don't step out of this energy, she's going to leave you behind. You can't, and it's not, and it kind of is a situation in which, well, no, I'm not going to say that because it's not a situation in saying you're not good enough. It's a situation in saying, I am not going to allow that toxic energy to harm my child, harm my creation, harm this new life that I'm building for myself. I absolutely will not. The emperor, absolutely not. So I'm not saying to you, says the feminine, I am not saying to you that you are inadequate in any way. But what I am saying to you is all this toxic energy has got to go. 
if you wish to be in on this circumstance with me, point blank period. You can look at it, okay, so instead of taking, instead of looking at it as a um, worthy, unworthy, because I feel like that's kind of where people are sinking into with this message, and that's not the case. Look at it more from this point of view of vibrational resonance, okay? What the feminine is working on manifesting right now is of high vibrational quality. If you are in a low vibrational state, or if you were surrounding yourself with low vibrational energies, or if you were constantly interacting with or, inter or, or ingesting, we'll say, lower vibrational energies, then you are just straight up not going to be in a, vi a vibrational match. And you're going to clash. And there's no, it's, not, it's literally just not going to work. It doesn't mean that you're any less of a human being. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. This, that. It doesn't mean that. It's just literally not an energetic fit. That's all. Okay, that's really all she's saying here. Let go of the masks, people. Balance out the circumstance. And this justice is not just for her, it's for yourself too. Think about it. If you're, in, if you're stuck in situations in which you can't be your authentic self, how healthy is that? It's not healthy at all. It's toxic. Ooh, all right, y'all. So in order to connect with your inner feminine, you've got to walk away from some shit that is not serving you. That is not authentic. You're wearing a mask. If you're wearing a mask, you got to take that mask off and be your true self and start to raise your vibration. All right, let's close out this reading with Oracle Guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck, yes? One last shuffle here. So, Oracle Guidance for your inner feminine, from your inner feminine. I feel like today it's from the inner feminine, not necessarily for. But here we go. Oracle Guidance in terms of this reading here. Ooh, that's a lot of them. I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, shoot, I lost it. Where is it? It's this card, it's this card, it's this one. This one, this one, this one. Yes. Priority of purpose, card number 30. Okay, here we go. Priority of purpose. What does, on the card it says, love is everything, it says on her shirt. You are a dreamer, but you are also meant to be a doer. It's the right time to cast off some of the demands of your time and attention that are keeping you from pursuing your true purpose, which can be represented by this Three of Cups energy here, okay? If you have many dreams, that's fine, but it is wise to focus on what you can do now. Allow your other dreams to percolate in the background for a while. When it's time to attend to them, you'll know. For now, do what you can to, and don't be afraid to make a sacrifice or two along the way. Those sacrifices will be repaid in more ways than you currently know. You won't lose anything by dropping the distractions and going for it. Three of Cups definitely could be distractions, okay? The spiritual guidance here, it says, making a choice can be hard. And if, and if to say yes, uh, I'm sorry, making a choice can be hard. As if to say yes to one thing, you have to say no to 15 other things. Remember that saying no is just saying not right now rather than never. There is a higher plan for your life that includes all of your passions. You can do it all, but just not all at once. Your soul knows how to build your most inspired and beautiful divine life as though it were building an extraordinary temple for your spirit. It knows that the foundations need to be prepared and the walls built before the windows, doors, and skylights can be installed. The roof may be absolutely one of a kind incredible, but if you try to lay the roof before you're built, you, sorry, before you've built the walls, you're going to have some problems. There is a certain order to how things need to happen, which the soul intuitively knows. That is why listening to the soul and trusting your inner guiding voice makes more sense than trying to accomplish everything straight away and ending up with so much less than you deserve for all of that effort. Every moment 
of patience and sacrifice that you make now is stored up by the universe as a sweet grace that you will receive back later as everything falls into place so perfectly. Tune in and trust your soul to show you how to gain everything you ever dreamed of one simple step at a time. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into what's going on with your own inner feminine energies, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!